Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the 13th of August, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 9. The reading, Carl Olaf, R-O-S-E-N-I-U-S, 1816-1868. When I come away from the table of the Lord, I say to the glory of the Lord Christ, to be sure I am a great sinner, but here at this table, I have nonetheless received a special help. Here I have been given Christ's own body and blood given and shed for me for the remission of sin. This avails for a thousand times, a thousand more than all my sins. And if my reason and my feelings say, no, I have his word, he who is my judge, in contrast to one single word of his, all of my doubts and denials are like tiny specks of dust ranged against a mighty mountain peak. And the prayer, Johannes Bergen, B-U-G-E-N-H-A-G-E-N, 1485-1558. Almighty and merciful God, Father, I give you praise, honor, and thanks that you protect and preserve me, a poor sinner, in such a fatherly manner. Because I have sinned so often against your divine will, grace, and goodness, I ask you, Lord my God, that you would be gracious and merciful toward me. Excuse and forgive me all my misdeeds. Take away my stone heart. Put away from me the old being and renew my heart and spirit so that I may recognize in you my highest treasure love you perfectly, observe your holy commandments diligently, and walk in them with highest eagerness and holy obedience without punishment. Lord Almighty, faithful God, I ask you by the bitter dying and suffering of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, protect today me and all my ways against dishonoring your most holy name and against trespassing your divine will. Take me away from my evil poisoned nature and give me to yourself so that I am rid of myself in true serenity and give myself to you through true living faith, strong hope and inmost love. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, my Duke and Captain, I ask you through the love of your Heavenly Father, go before me with your grace. Lead me in the right way of your healing word through this erring and crafty world that I may not, seduced by anyone, fall away from your word, forget you, and live in an un. Christian way, but protect me, my dear Lord Jesus, and all people from sin and unbelief, from evil thoughts, words, and works, and scandalous behavior, so that your heavenly Father is being praised, honored, and adored by us with you and the Holy Spirit, who may let us pray and speak in spirit and truth our Father in heaven, amen.